Hello and welcome to a look at a major motion for the Amiga. A very very original title that is not at all inspired by a certain arcade game. Your job is to drive in your suit up sports car that comes equipped with machine guns. And from time to time you will uh, encounter a friendly truck you can drive into in order to get a weapon upgrade of some sort. Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? Major Motion is a game that is very heavily inspired by the arcade Spy Hunter, and it basically uh, borrows so many ideas from it that you may as well consider it to be an attempt at making Spy Hunter on the Amiga without necessarily having access to the official license. From a, a graphical point of view, it sort of looks nice enough. Um, the, the main car is uh, exciting looking, the other vehicles look like uh, different vehicles. And of course the trucks, um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of the open top of the truck, but whatever, it, it works, uh, it's a minor thing. Graphics are perfectly uh, adequate. Um, I'm not expecting miracles, but um, it's just in knowing how heavily it is inspired by a Spy Hunter. It just looks wrong. From a graphical point of view, I'm expecting a Spy Hunter subconsciously, consciously, whatever, and I'm not getting it. And it, it I find that oddly. I wouldn't say agitating, that's such a big word, but it just feels wrong. From a sound point of view, um, there's some beefy sounding explosions and the screeching sound is quite nice, but I mean, what can you expect? Um, a soundscape from a, for a game like this is uh, bound to be uh, shooty shooty sounds and blowing up sounds and screeching sounds and whatnot. So in that regard, the, the sound design is perfectly acceptable. Not excellent, but not bad either. Controls though. Um, the controls are extremely slippery. Um, they are actually so slippery that when you uh, end up driving on icy road, you don't will really notice the difference because your car is already moving in such a slippery way that it, it doesn't feel different to drive on ice, which is a bit... hmm. Because of the way the tracks are divided or the roads are divided, sometimes you will find that because of uh, some predetermined sprite limitation that you can end up being on a stretch of road all by yourself for extended periods of time, which leads to absolutely amazing, exciting gameplay when all you're doing is doing nothing. Just driving in a straight line, no uh, other cars, no anything to do. You can shoot your machine guns just to keep yourself entertained, but it does have its moments of absolute blindness. The thing is, the Condor 64 version of Spy Hunter, which was an official license, it plays better, depending on how you see it, it looks better, because it looks like Spy Hunter, and it sounds better. I particularly like the uh, ricocheting sound when you shoot on an armored vehicle on the Condor 64 version, but there's none of that satisfaction and there's none of the simple enjoyment that is from a relatively simple game as Spy Hunter actually is. This is definitely not Spy Hunter and 
uh, as I can just as easily boot up Spy Hunter on the Commodore 64 instead. I would much rather play that game. By the way, I didn't type that. That was uh, one of the few interesting things about the game. If you just press enter, you get a random name. But on that note, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.